select, move, scale, and rotate. You have to know how to do these in 3D to go anywhere. Let's go ahead and put a few objects into the scene. Just coming up here and clicking and moving these away from each other. Let's get a guy in here. Maybe rotate him around a little bit. All right, that ought to do it. Let's look at a couple different ways that we can select some of these objects. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab my live selection tool. And if I just click on my objects, you can see that they become selected. You'll also notice that when they become selected in the scene, they're highlighted over here in the object manager. All right, we'll come over here, we'll grab the rectangle selection tool. And again, these work very similar to some of the tools that you'll find in Photoshop. If we select the cone, it becomes selected. We can select part of it and it will be selected. You don't have to grab the whole thing, just part of it. Grab his arm and he's selected. We have a lasso selection, again, very similar to a tool in Photoshop. We can grab multiples and we have a polygon selection tool which just grabs an object using straight lines. All right. We can also select over here. We could rectangle select here, grab everything. Just click off all objects to deselect everything. I could also shift select by selecting the first object and shift selecting to select both objects. Or I could click on the cube, hold control or command down and click on the figure if I didn't want to select all of them. Again, I'm going to click here to deselect everything. Now, when I have an object selected, you'll notice that I get my gizmo. And if I go to the move tool or hit E on the keyboard, I can move this in Z by grabbing the Z arrow and moving it forward and backward. I can grab the X, move left to right, or I can grab the green and move up and down. Now when I grab an arrow, it's constraining the movement to that particular direction. So I can't move it all over the place. I can also grab outside here and just move it wherever I want. But typically you're not gonna wanna do that in most situations because it's not a very precise way to move your objects around. I can also move by grabbing these bands. If you have your bands turned on in the filter menu, the axis bands. So I can turn those on and off by clicking the filter menu and clicking axis bands. And that will constrain it into two directions, depending on which axis band you grab. Okay, so you can play around with that. Now, I just wanna make a point here. If I grab something with the live selection tool, I can still grab the arrows and move it, but I can't grab outside like I can with the move tool and move my object around. So if you're ever trying to do that and you're not getting the expected result, you may have your live selection selected instead of your move tool. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's take a look at the scale tool, which is next to the move tool, or you can hit T on your keyboard. And if we have an object selected and we just click outside the object and move the mouse, we're gonna scale and we'll scale up in all directions. You'll notice that you have dots on your objects, on your polygonal objects. You can grab these dots and you can scale in one direction, okay? If I hold the shift key down, it will constrain to increments of 10, okay? So I'm going up by 10 each time that I scale. Finally, we have our Rotate tool, and you can hit R on your keyboard to select that. I'm going to hit O on the keyboard to frame up our man here. And I'm going to grab the axis bands and just move him around. Again, if I hold Shift down, he moves in increments of 10. And you can move him in any direction that you want. I say that's a him. I assume that's a him. Okay, so that should do it. That is Select, Move, Scale, and Rotate here in Cinema 4D.